Good evening, folks. Julie here. And guess what? We have a Timu video tonight. I think this is probably one of my biggest hauls that I've ever gotten from Timu. And there's a lot of variety here. It's a lot of more different stuff. I didn't get one barrette this time. If you're, you're new to my channel, you know that I love getting the barrettes. I'm wearing them now. Not that I can turn my head around where you can see them, but I put my hair up for work and everything. I, I do have my baby here. This is Chachi. Say hi, Chachi, for the people who don't already know you, but everybody likes to see you, so I was going to let you say hi. Chachi's 18 years old. Had a little accident Sunday afternoon because I was out in the pool and my mom took him outside and he heard my voice and he can't see. He's blind and he walked right into the swimming pool. Luckily, I was in there because I don't take my eyes off of him when he's, he's out there. And as I got to him, he was swimming up. He did good. He was kicking his little feet and swimming, but he did not like it. He was very, very upset. He was crying. He was clinging to me, and he was not happy. But he's 18 years, and he's blind, And but he's a sweet boy. Well, to me, I, I tell everybody he's an equal opportunity hater because he hates everybody equally. So he's my baby, and he's getting on up there. I know we're on borrowed time, but I love this little boy dearly. But I wanted to put him on here because everybody's always like, can we see Chachi? Can we see him? Or how's Chachi doing? So there he is. Now, for those of you who are new to my channel, I'm going to put him in my chair. Lay down, buddy. In the chair, lay down. No, you can't stay with me. You got to do a video. Get over there. Lay down. That's a good boy. Um, for those of you who are new to my channel, um, I do a lot of videos. Um, I do Timu videos. I sell Avon, so when I get new Avon products, I do Avon videos. Um, I do um, inspirational videos because everybody likes a little bit of inspiration. I do, I'm, I'm starting to do some current events kind of, you know, make you think videos. I do travel videos because I love to travel um, to different places and you know whenever I can do it I, I do it um, I also do child advocacy videos because I am a guardian ad litem for the state of Florida so I know how it is important it is to to speak up for our children to be advocates um, I, I know in our community and probably almost every community there is that we need foster parents very badly so you let me talk about that stuff but I know you saw the thing, so the reason you're here is to see the Timu, but I hope if you're new, you'll check out my channel, subscribe. I don't have many people. Um, for those of you who are also new, I'm very amateur. I know how to push a button and record, and that's all I know how to do. So just bear with me. Maybe one of these days I'll learn how to do some neat things like every, all the other YouTubers. But without further ado, here we go. Now, I got two different things here, and I do not know for the life of me why I did two different things but go figure i got this brush here this was three dollars and 48 cents and i had seen another um, person doing a timu video and and i decided i was going to get one for my bathroom so um it's a, it's a scrubber for your bathroom and it comes with three pads to go on it See if I can get this to go over. Yeah, this is gonna be one of those things where everything's gonna come out of the bag and that's not what I wanted to happen, but oh well. And basically, this has got a Velcro on it. And you see how this is shaped the same? You just put that on there like that. Actually, it's not quite centered. And once it comes on, it does not want to come off, so that's a good thing. Try to get it as centered as you can. And this will help you reach places you can't reach because you can use this here. And it came with three of these. So once one pad is up, you can get out of the ceiling fan. It's going to blow everything all over the place. This was a bad idea. But I do live in Florida, and even though it is late at night, it is still very hot. And my watch is dead, so I can't tell you how hot it is. But it got up to 95, and that's without the heat index today. So I'm sure it was over 100 with the heat index, so ceiling fan is a blaring so this i thought this was a good tool i saw somebody else get this and i got this so um let me take this off 
over here. I'm sorry, I have to put things back up. I've seen so many people and, and they get their stuff and they just have to clean up later on. And if I do it as I go, I don't have as long to to um, to do, I don't have to be up as late because it's already put away. So I thought that was a good deal for $3.48. Try to go to Walmart and buy something like that for that. I have to tell you though too, you could tell I did a much bigger order than usual because this bag is huge. So I got another brush too, and it's a different kind of brush. And I don't know why I got one. I don't know if I didn't realize that I'd already ordered one, um, a different kind of brush, or if I just wanted two. I don't think I would just want two. I think I just was crazily ordering again. And that happens to me sometimes. I do these videos and I work till nine or 10 o'clock at night. And then I come home and the stuff came in and I'm ready to get my videos done. So then I'm up late and ordering late and doing all kinds of late stuff. And sometimes I might be just a little tired and hitting too many buttons. This one was $2.48. And this too was not on there. I had to put this on there. So, it goes on there just like that. It's another scrub brush. It's not as big or, or as long as the other one. So, and when it's funny, because when I pulled this out of the bag, there was nothing in it. This was in the, I guess it had fallen, somehow fallen out of its bag. I'm like, how did it come out of there? Maybe it just didn't get zipped and everything. So, I also got these little thingies and these were 28 cents. And what you do, and it's funny because they had it, and just if you're new to Timu, um, just because I tell you that's the price, it may be something totally different because there's lightning cells and stuff like that. And if you can catch it when it's on sale, do like me, put stuff in your cart and when you want it, then you'll um, have it in your cart. When you see it go on sale, then you make an order and purchase it. These are actually very thin and they're, sh and they're dissolvable, okay? You put this, say, you could put it in your toilet and scrub your toilet, put it in your bathtub, wet it, so, or make a tub of water or, or partial water because once you wet it, it dissolves and it's a good like detergent. So it smells like a detergent, but you can use it in the tub, you can use it in the toilet, you can use it um, whatever you want to do, just wet it and it dissolves. So, and like I said, this was um, 28 cents. So if it works, that'll be cool. I get a product right now for my toilet from um, Avon, and I love it. It's it's a powder, and you shake it in, and you leave it in your um, in your toilet for like three to four hours, and then you scrub the toilet with it. And it is the cleanest I've ever got my toilet. So you check out my Avon videos and get my web link out as then there, and you'll find those. Those are really good. Now my mom ordered these. Y'all know I do these orders with my mom. Um, these were a dollar and forty nine cent, and they're wool dryer balls. And I think the purpose of these is to um, to um, get the lint and stuff off dog hair and stuff like that off of your clothes. Kind of squishy, not too, but but firm at the same time. Got some give to it. So hopefully she'll use them when she got them. She gets some stuff and then she just forgets she gets it, I think. I do that too, so I can't I can't say anything. Um the next thing I got, let's see. This was 77 cents, and I figured why not? Because I have a big problem. I've got Chachi's hair all over me. Um I have a lot of problem with wax in my ears. And this, I'll have to look at a video or something and see. And some of these stuff, some of the stuff on my, on my invoice online, 
has user manuals. This, I guess you put water in, I'm not sure, but it's supposed to help you get the wax out of your ears. So I'm gonna have to read up and see how I use it. If any of you know how, let me know in the comments. But listen, I can't even hear out of this ear over here right now, and I don't know, it. the past couple times I've gotten in the swimming pool, it could be swimmer's ear, because I've gotten to where I can't hardly hear. Now I think that is all the cleaning stuff. Okay, that's not good. Next thing I got is this was a dollar and forty-eight cent. I tried to talk less and show more. This is a take a fan. Oh, it's drawstring. So, I wanted something to wash my bras in. This isn't gonna do but a couple of them at a time, but put your bras in here, put it in there, and the washing machine, and then you can not have your bras, the little clips on them, pulling all your clothes. So, I was hoping this would be a little bit bigger than this, but I couldn't tell, you know, they. They have so many different sizes. I might try to get a bigger one. So, but I've, I've been trying to find one because I would rather do that than do a load with just bras in it if I could wash this. I hate doing laundry and the more loads I have to do, the more irritated I get because I just hate, I hate doing laundry. That one. What do I want to show y'all next? Let's show y'all this. I got this because again we watched it. There's so many YouTubers that do um, do Timu, but my favorite one to watch is the Cheap Trick, the Cheap Chick. She really has some awesome Timu videos in different hauls. If I was, if I could afford to. Some of those palettes she gets. Oh, I wouldn't mind getting those. I like Hooked on Picking too. Those are my favorite ones to watch them get different things. Now, Hooked on Picking doesn't do Timu, but they do the, the different palettes and stuff too. And it's so cool to see what they get. This is, you can shred your cheese or shred whatever it is right into the plastic container. So I thought that was nifty. And this was a big old whopping $2.39. Regular plastic. Very nice. My mom saw that and was really excited about it. And she she wouldn't have spent that money herself. But I said, I'll get it for her. So I got it. I do think they put this, they wrapped it in, in bubble wrap. And then they put it in a little bag. And then they put it in a big bag. Lots of bags going on. had a couple people and I'm sorry y'all I'm, I'm not a professional but I had somebody get mad at me um, saying that about the crinkling paper I'm sorry I just I want to do things a certain way and so the next thing since we did kitchen then we'll do kitchen now it needs a battery. I don't know where you 
put a battery, or, or not necessarily, I know where you could probably, I bet you anything it has to have a battery. Let's see. Anyways, this is a thermometer. And of course, this little paper is where I can't get it out. Let's see, hold on. One point five volt. So there's got to be a place to put a battery in. Battery right up here. Ah! There goes the battery. Oh no! I lost the battery. Hold that thought, people. I don't have a pause button. So just bear with me for just a minute where I can see where this battery went. I know I heard it hit the floor. I wasn't expecting to jump out of it like that. A little battery, where art thou? Look, at least you're getting entertainment. That sucker sure about somewhere. Aha, I think I spotted it, y'all. it. I bet that doesn't happen to other people. Just me. Little bitty battery. I have no idea how I put that in there. Let's try it this way and see what it does. Ah! Yay! So you got an on-off button here. Turn it off. Turn it on. Yay, it works. Now, that took way longer than it should have. So let's put this away real quick where we can get on with the show. This right here tell your temperatures and stuff like that. I am so glad that I found that. Listen, it would be my luck that one of my dogs would eat it. And then I would have to take them to the vet and spend hundreds of dollars to get it out of their stomach. This video is going to be way too long because we're almost at 20 minutes already. Okay. Now. My mother got these. And after yesterday, what, this is the second time this has happened that I cannot hear out of my ear. Oh, did I tell y'all how much that meat thermometer cost? I don't think I did. And I might have. 
So I put it back in the bag. When I got it, it was 77 cents. That's a good deal. Okay, now these, now I'm gonna have to go back and order me some. My, mo my mom got her these because she's been having trouble with her ears and she's having to put drops in them and hold her head trying to find a way to keep them out. But these are earplugs. These are actually, it says for the swimming earbuds, but are earplugs. So, got two of those. And for $1.28, that's pretty, that's pretty fair. Okay, the next thing I thought got a little disappointed because I thought they were going to be the standard size. Wow, this does not want to open. You know what? I'm just going to show you like this. And it's got six of them in here. These are little nail things for your nails, and there's six of them in here, and they're different designs. And I was very disappointed because they're very short. I mean, they'll still do the same thing. I just thought they were gonna be the longer standard size. And I, think, I guess they don't have to be long, but it was a little, it was a little disappointing. But okay, the next thing I got here, and I'm not even gonna pull, well, I guess I will, because in case you haven't pulled, um, is, um, these were $1.79, and these are pool skimmer bags. Let me show you what they look like. This is a very thin, almost like the, um, like, almost like a knee-high sock or something. It's that kind of thing. So... And for $1.79, that's not bad. You know, it used to be fairly, in the, I mean, it's always been expensive to take care of a pool, but just lately, it's it's like just outrageous, the chemicals and, and everything, and everything's gone up so much, it's just so expensive for anything. Okay, moving right along. We saw that. And the next product is also with a pool. I'm trying to group, group, group them up together. Um, this next one was three dollars and twenty eight cent, and these are your pool test strips, and you've got on the back going by the colors, what your um, what your pool is. Oh, and they're also in little packages, so it's pretty cool. They're all stuffed in here, and I guess that there's. A bunch of different ones. I can't remember how many it said, but there's obviously more than one stick in here. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I'll have to look at the thing. Does it say how many's on here? 50 strips. There's 50 strips in here. So I guess there's a bunch in each. There's about. Oh, okay. There's six of these full packets. So I'm going to assume that each one has 10 strips in it. Expires 2026, so it's got an expiration date on it. So it's still in date, still good there. Now, I got a few little signs here. So the first one I got for my brother, it'll go in his Christmas basket. It says, I smile because you're my brother. I laugh because there's nothing you can do about it. It's got the little twine in the back. I figured he could put this in his garage. That's his that's his man cave. It's his garage with the pool table and everything, his weight bench and all that stuff in there. So I thought that was cute. You can't do nothing about it because I'm his sister and he's just got to live with it. The next one, I don't know if I can show on here. I'm gonna do it real quick. Welcome to camp. Quit, quit her, her the B word with that ends with an N. A certified happy happy camper area. So 
so I didn't want to show it. I didn't want to get flagged. I don't know, you know. Um, and that one was, um, what were those? Let's see. The one with your bro my brother was $1.98, and the other one, this one was $0.78. Cent. We found a shirt like that in Gatlinburg when we went to Gatlinburg in um, April, end of April, beginning of March. And my mother wants another shirt just like my friend got there. She said, I wish I would have gotten a shirt right then. They didn't have one in her size. And um, she says, man, I wish I would have gotten that. Again, this is another... I get disappointed. It says wall art. What in the world? Not what I would expect to be with this. Because the one I, the, the Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want my, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, thy comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of Lord, of the Lord forever. I thought it would be, this is just a piece of cardboard, really. That's all it is. And then this was in there under it. What is, you, that's, you're putting that in with the Psalms. I don't get it. But I love the Psalms 23. This is what was read at my dad's funeral. Very special to me. Um, but um, I could get a frame and frame it. Um, but I thought it would be something that was not just a little bit of a post board. It's so hit or miss with things. Like those, those, um, those, um, at least this has got a, a, a glossy like thing on the top. So, you know, I guess there's that. It's not like the other one I got, the other, the last one I got that was in with not as good in quality as this one. Um, but, um, you know, some of the stuff you really got to pay attention and read the description very well. Well, I also try to read the reviews, but it said wall art, and I just assumed that it was a little bit more sturdy in material. Uh, but uh, usually what happens is, is I, I miss see something. So, okay, the next thing I have is $2.11. I'm not even going to put a lot of the thing. These are gel nail strips. for $2.11. And these are my mom's. My mom ordered these. I work at a restaurant. I'm not supposed to put nothing on my nails. So, let me see if I can show up without a glare. And then, because she got, she loves the gel polish and the gel stuff. She said it lasts longer. So, the next product was four dollars and eighty nine cent. And this is the um, the nail dryer. Let me plug it in the uh, recliner or not the recliner, the uh, well, it's a reclining sofa. Let me plug it in here in the USB and see if it just to see if it works. You probably won't be able to see it, but I'll be able to tell you that it works. I know, Bubba, you want me to sit with you. Oh yeah, I don't know if you can see it from here. Maybe if I move out from in front of it. I almost dropped it. You can see it. You can see the light shine in there. So I set it for 30 seconds. It should be shutting off any minute now. That's it. Easy sneezy. Works like a charm. Oh no. I bet I did. What did I knock over? Did I knock over my tea again? Yes, I did. 
knocked over my cup of tea. That's gonna be a mess. I'll get to that. Take out my tea. Look at it go. Great, there's tea all over the place. Wonderful. This is just not my night, folks. Definitely getting no show, aren't you? Okay, an arm and a leg for that Milo's tea. I don't like to spill it. At least the other day when I spilled tea, it wasn't, a, it wasn't that full. Okay, we're getting there, folks. Oh, we're already at 30 minutes. This is a long one. This takes some batteries and I'm not even going to try, but what it is, yeah, yeah, I wasted this much time. I may as well. This has got the lights on the end. Double A. Ah, yes, good. Hold that thought. Gotta get some batteries. You know what? I should be better, but should have been better prepared, I think. I don't know. I thought I was prepared. Y'all are going to get bored halfway between this through this video because I can't get my act together. Okay, let's see. This is going to go in there good. Let me turn this off. There it goes. Now this will spread out. As you can see, it changes colors. And as you go, it's gonna spread out. My mother loves things like this. I'm not even gonna put this back up. I'm gonna leave that right there and I'm gonna leave it on just where I can look at it. But isn't it neat? My mom loves lava lamps and stuff like that. All right, so that takes care of that. Now, moving right along, I kind of did this in sections tonight. This next little section is going to be stuff for the pool party because I have pool parties for my um, co-workers. And did I tell you all how much that was? 
$2.98. Isn't that cool? This was just $2.98. You go to the mall and try to find something like that, and it's going to be a lot more. Okay, this guy. This is swim around the pool. I got them specifically for that, for the 4th of July party. Whoops. I think he's going to be so cute. And I think some of the kids that are coming will be, be watching him. Okay, the next thing I got for the pool party. That's next week. I can't believe the 4th of July is next week. I got to call Sam and make my order. Get the hot dogs and hamburgers and stuff ordered. Buns and all that ordered. Wow, everything's bag in a bag and stuff this time. I have to go through so many layers to get to to get to things. This was two dollars and ninety eight cents. And what it is, and I'm not going to blow it up. It is. You blow this flamingo up. Let's see which way does it go. And he's going to swim in your pool. And his. then you're going to blow these up. And you're going to try to land them on him. So his little wings, I believe. Or his head. Something like that. So I thought that would be a lot of great fun. What's wrong, Chachi? You want down, buddy? You probably want to go get a drink of water. Hmm, do you want to go get a drink of Wawa? Hmm. Mom will put you down in a minute. Uh, I'm not going to do it in the little one. I'll put it in the bigger one. It's taking too much time. I thought that's going to be neat and fun for the kids and adults all alike. I do this, I manage a restaurant and I like to do fun things for us. We're closed on holidays. So, this, we actually had one last time and it got broke. Somebody else brought it. But this, your ball, you have two paddles. You got the thing, you put them over your hand. I'm not going to pull this out, I'm not going to pull this apart. The ball, you throw it, and the other person catches it with the paddle, with the stickiness on it. So, and that was four dollars and seventy nine cents. He's okay. He was laying down, probably crying in his sleep. Okay, this next thing was three dollars and four cent, and I'm not even gonna put this together. But what you do, this is the base. You stack these up. It makes a little tower. And see these little yellow rings? You ring this. This isn't for in the pool. This is for outside the pool. So once you get this tower up, you're gonna try to ring it with these little round things. So. I'm trying to save some time because I've wasted so much of y'all. So well, I didn't waste. You want to see what's coming. You want to see what it is. Okay. I'm trying to make up for all the time that I spent looking for battery and stuff like that. The next thing we got. This goes in the pool. Okay. And it's got like 30 points, 20 points, 10 points. And you try to get the little balls in the pool. You try to throw them in there and get them to go through the hole. Get points. Okay. The next thing I got. This was. Let's sit on this side. 
I know five dollars and twenty seven cents. These are plastic. You got the ball in here. You're tossing it, and somebody's catching it with their with their paddle. So I'm not going to try. Like these are just too hard to cut into. So, but I did want to show you what they were, and I can guarantee you we're going to have fun with them. Only a few more things left, folks. Okay, so next thing was two dollars and ninety nine cents. Might be bigger than I thought it was going to be. It's got ribbon. It is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. See, you just don't never know. It says, God. Bless. Oh, I got it upside down. <laughs> no wonder it wasn't showing up soon. God bless America. America. never going to get this folded up like it was. I don't think anyways. You know what, though we have lots of stuff going on in this world, we still live in the greatest country there is, I think, you know, that's just me. And um, I think it's very important to um, remember that. We may not be a perfect country, but we are the U.S. of A. I can't believe I got that to fit back in there. What do you know? Okay, just a couple more things. I don't know. I think this is standard size, but I don't know. I'm going to be very careful because I don't want to drop this. This is an American flag. And it's the 4th of July. And I really want to have one out so <sighs> these things never go back the way they're supposed to And guess what? There's only one more thing after this. I just wanted to be very careful. I don't want it to hit the ground.
one of the greatest joys today that I had today was at work. And there was a group in and they were having a little celebration of the good old USA. And um, it was so great. You know, I couldn't, we don't have a private room we can give them, so they had to be, you know, they had, they were in the second dining room and they had that, there were so many of them that took out that whole dining room. But it was so great when they all joined together and saying, God bless the U.S. or I'm proud to be an American. Um, wonderful Lee Greenwood song. Um, I'm proud to be an American, or at least I know I'm free. And I won't forget the men who fight who gave that right to me. I gladly stand up next to her and defend her still today. Because there ain't no doubt I love this land. God bless the USA. They sang the whole thing. And it was beautiful to see people actually, you know, doing that. You don't see it as often as you used to. Last but not least, and that flag was $2.98. Last thing, $3.77. I could not believe it. It had been in my cart for a long time, about $10 or so. And I looked and it said $3.77. I'm like, I have to have it. Isn't that pretty? Those of you who watch my videos, it's a butterfly. Nice lacy sleeves. Just kind of a nice little fancy top to wear somewhere. I thought that was, was gorgeous. That's it. We got through everything, folks. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I hope you'll keep visiting my, my channel. Um, I do have another order that is on its way. I actually got a notification that it cleared customs and and everything and so it should be getting here probably by the end of this week so there'll probably be in another Timu video this week and that's the last one I ordered because we ordered a whole bunch we ordered like four right in the same period of time and um but I, I'm like hey I'm poor now I don't got no more money to give you so we're gonna have to wait a while before we order anything else because it gets expensive but the deals some of the deals you can find some really great deals um but that's it for today Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Um, and um, stay blessed. Remember that God loves you um, no matter where you are in your walk in life. And you know what? He's a forgiving God. I love this thing. Um, he's a forgiving God. He loves you. Um, no matter where you've been, he's willing to meet you. So don't forget that. Um, and even when the bad things happen, you know, life is life. And things happen and it sometimes sucks and it's not fair. I mean, we know I, you know, those of you who follow my channel, lost my daughter last month. Um, and um, it's horrible, but I know she's with Jesus now. Um, but things happen and it makes you question life. But I still believe in God just because things have happened. Um, and we just have to keep going. Um, I hope you'll continue to reach out and watch these channels. Tell your friends, like, subscribe, and I'll keep trying to get better. Tonight was probably the longest Timu video I've ever done. And it's probably the biggest Timu video I've ever done and the most craziness I've had with things flying. And now I've got to clean up a big old team mess. But um, please check out my channels, Child Advocacy, Inspiration, um, there's wonderful videos from my DC trip, especially the Arlington Nas National Cemetery ones. Those are really great. Um, we, it was broken into a few, because every time we get on a different Charlie, there'd be a different thing. And, you know, we were going to different areas and to hear the history and everything, it's just amazing. So, um, and you know, Gatlinburg, bears, um, deer, wildlife, you know, all that kind of stuff, you know waterfalls, the um, aquarium, just lots of great things to see. Um, but, um, you know, my child advocacy, um, 
so many children need people to stand up for them. But um, like I said, give me a thumbs up, like, like this video and subscribe. And I appreciate you putting up with me this long. This is the longest video I think I've ever done. So I appreciate you sticking around this long. Let me go have the clean up this tea mess. I hope y'all have a blessed night. Bye-bye.